Hey friends, it's Betsy and we're back with M.E. My Hook and I, or me, my hook and I, however you want to say it, my channel about crochet and chronic illness. And today I'm here to give the wrap up for our October Donate for Good, the submissions that I had and show you what the giveaway for that is going to be and some works in progress and a uh, hook comparison and what else do we have? Gosh, it's just gonna be a full day. Um, I do wanna take a moment to tell those of you who nominated me for Cinnamon, and Cinnamon Stitches Hirschner Box, thank you so much. I saw quite a few nominations and I was just honored that you guys thought of me. I still feel like I'm just a super tiny channel. Um, and I mentioned Cinnamon Stitches a lot, so I hope if you hadn't found her through me that you already knew who she was because she is wonderful and amazing and real and I love her. And also, I'm super excited because my nomination was Ella at No Catchy Name and she won by a landslide. So hopefully more people are finding about her because she is also wonderful and lovely and a young mom and does awesome amigurumi and I just love her too. <laughs> So, um, I do appreciate Cinnamon Stitches saying like, oh, these small YouTubers, they don't, they don't get anything for what they're doing, which is true. There is a fair, a fair amount of work to putting together a YouTube podcast, but you guys bless me so much just by listening to me chat <laughs> and by giving me an outlet to share my yarn. Like that's pain, payment enough for me right now. Like I'm just, I'm happy that somebody is willing to look at my projects and see what I have to say and engage with me in the comments. I've gotten two really good friends now that I talk to every day. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm still receiving, maybe not monetarily, but I'm still receiving what, um, so much to be thankful for, for you guys on my channel. <laughs> And uh, now you're probably like, fast forward, <laughs> let's get to the good stuff. Okay, so um, I made a couple hats for the October donation for good. If you're new and this is your first time in October, I was collecting winter goods for a ministry called Must Ministry, which is local here to Northeast Atlanta to help with those who are homeless and in poverty and need things. Um, they actually, they have a food pantry. They have um, a place where you can donate items. They have a thrift store that helps to fund them. They, and then they also give things away. And in November, they have a toy drive. So November and December, uh, they really start to focus on their toy drive for Christmas. So we're not gonna be doing that just, we're not gonna be doing more donations for November and December because uh, their focus is different. And there are a lot of other places that accept handmade items, but a lot of them I found out in my contacts are not accepting donations due to COVID. So we're just gonna pause on the donations for now. I, I am really grateful for those of you who sent things. There is still an outstanding box of soap savers that I have no idea who they came from. And I would love to include you in my giveaway because I am giving away to everyone who donated, which may sound super generous, but guys, it was three people. <laughs> so it's generous, but it's not that generous. Um, but I just wanted, I felt really honored that you guys took the time to make something for this and send it in. And I just wanted to give a big thank you to both Starla and Christine who sent in things and whoever it was that made 50 some odd soap savers that was so incredibly generous. So the things that I have not shown that are going to the donations, um, I don't know, remember if I sub showed this or not. I think I may have now that I'm holding it up. This is a cowl that I'm donating that I made out of hobby acrylic yarn. I think it was, I forget actually what it was called. Um, and then my daughter and I have been learning how to loom knit. And I made this on my knitting loom. It is the um, Lion Brand Homeland, I think, with speckle. And it just, it ended up being a little tight. So it's gonna be a kid's hat but it turned out really nice on my loom. And I cranked out another one, and this one ended up being really big. So it's gonna be for somebody who has a really 
big head. Um, but I made this out of that chunk yarn. So somebody's getting a really nice woolen hat. So those are the things I'm giving in addition to the Just Feel Festive shawl. And I got uh, Christine's box. So she sent me some goodies too. Thank you, Christine. But these are her donated items and she sent it in this sweet organza bag. So I believe, Christine, you can put this in the comments if it's not. I believe this is a divine hat, is it not? And it's super soft and squishy. Somebody's going to love that. And then I thought at first this might be puzzle yarn. But my puzzle yarn, oh, hello acorns. Glad that wasn't me. <laughs> Jeez. It's super soft, whatever it is, and it's a lovely shade of green, so that's a great neutral, gender neutral hat. And then, these smell really good, by the way, Christine. I don't know what your house smells like, but <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> and that's a sweet, another color blocked one. That's very nice. And then these ones, I have to say, have convinced me that I need to make a scarf hat set out of it. This is a uh, latte cake scarf, and oh my gosh, it's just as yummy and squishy as you expect it to be. Um, I believe I have this cake, and I can't remember what it's called. Um, anyway, it's the pink one. It's not really showing, I think, it's not really showing up on camera, but that, I thought the light would be good out here for the daytime, but that's kind of a pinky color so it's pinks and grays and but I'm you know me and my sweater kick I'm making a sweater out of this version that I have but she also sent a matching hat and you know I'm not sure I would have thought to do a pom-pom out of the latte cake but I'm loving it I'm digging it I like it very sweet set somebody's gonna be so lucky to have that And I believe this is also a latte cake. It's a cowl, a lovely cowl. Mm. Again, it smells good. It smells almost like cedar wood. Is your yarn in a cedar chest? Mm. Yummy. And a matching hat for that. So thank you, Christine. This is gonna make somebody nice and warm and cozy and happy, and it is getting pretty cold in the in the in the mornings and in the evenings here. So I'll put it back in that organza bag in a minute. So thank you, Christine. I really appreciate that, and that will go serve someone well. So I'm gonna show you what else she sent me because I was quite excited. First off, if you remember my knit crate. I got the eco version and I went back and looked and I didn't sign up for the eco version and I and she did sign up for the eco version but she got the box I think is that right Christine anyway she said it was really bumming me that I didn't have the booklet because I keep all the booklets and all the patterns so it came with that chunk yarn that I showed I made that hat out of which worked really well on a knitting loom because it was super chunky and it has really nice patterns in it. So I'm just gonna print the pattern off to begin with and then it's not gonna fit with my other books. And I know that that is fiddly and a little bit ridiculous, but thank you, Christy. <laughs> it's now gonna go with all my other Knit Crate and Yarnier booklets. Cause there's good patterns in there. Anyway, she also sent me, and I'm super excited, four skeins of Premier's Muir Woods. And I love a good rainbow. I especially love a good dark jewel toned rainbow that's in here. And I have not tried the Premier Muir, Mu however you say that, Muir Woods. Let me get the, it's in front of the camera. So, you know, it's Premier, so it's good quality stuff and it feels amazing. And there's enough of it for me to make whatever I desire, basically. Because I have four skeins of it now, and there are, it's a number four, there's 170 yards, and 
recommends a 5.5 millimeter hook, but honestly, I might use a smaller one. But I don't really like holy crochet things unless it's like lightweight and lacy. And then the other thing she sent me was this full bag of Willow Everest yarn. 50% fine merino. Ugh, maybe this lighting wasn't the best. I just didn't feel like setting up my lighting. Anyway, it is 50% fine merino and 50% microfiber made in Turkey, five millimeter hook and in the color caramel. And that it's a really great skin tone for Amigurumi. So I'm definitely gonna use one or two for that. But also I have plenty of this to do with whatever I please because she gave me the whole bag. Thank you, Christine. I was so excited. I did not anticipate that. All right, so now the moment we've all been waiting for, the giveaway bags. Let's see what's in them. Um, and actually one skein fell out of this. So there's gonna be one more skein of this bag. This is the first bag. And this is from Hobby. There's two skeins of this, the Hawaiian Mayflower branded acrylic yarn in the colorway four. <laughs> I forget, they don't always have colors. Anyway, it's this beautiful, uh, it's this beautiful rainbow, bright, cheery yarn. I have, there's two skeins of that in here. And then if you'll remember, I purposefully bought some of my ice yarn from my very first ice haul. This is their wool puzzle yarn. There are two skeins of this in here. And I may pack in a few more things. I thought I put three skeins, but there's only one in here. So it may end up going in a flower rate box because my envelope may be too small for what I'm wanting to give. Because I feel like there was more in here at one point. <laughs> so maybe, There'll be another surprise. All right, because yeah, there's way more yarn in here. So this is more from my hobby haul. This is their acrylic line. This one was actually one of their acrylic lines. This is discontinued, I think, in favor of their rainbow brand, the Tivoli. There's a pink and a blue. And then there is this Etno Alpaca Ice Yarn Roving and Green. There are one, two, three balls of this in there. And I'm gonna throw in some mystery stitch markers, which I haven't decided what I'm doing with those yet. So these are the thank you bags for the giveaway for everybody who sent something. I really, really appreciate it. Get that out of the way. Okay, now we're gonna move on to some uh, whips. Mr. Rogers, I know you guys have been waiting for this for a long time. He is so close to done. It is Friday evening. And if you've been following this channel, you know that Friday evening is Culver's day, which is also uh, on the way towards the very non-crowded awesome yarn stash Michaels and I need to get a felt thing for his mouth um, a piece of black and if I have some white and then I need to get some pink embroidery thread to put on his mouth but everything else about him is done I have I'm not like a hundred percent happy with his hair but that was the first time I've done human hair on a doll I followed her instructions it said to make a, a gray cap first, which we sewed on, kind of trying to create a hairline here. And then she had you use straight yarn pieces to sort of create his hairline there. So he's got a little part. He's got his little gray streaks around his temple. I think I'll get better at that as time goes on. Um, but I'm overall pretty pleased. I, the, she also has you sew the cardigan shut, but I think I'm actually gonna get snaps 
because, I mean, look at his cute little tie-in shirt. I don't want this permanently sewn shut. I don't think so. You know, anyway, besides, he's got to be able to, well, he can't take his shoes off. Never mind. <laughs> he's got to take his shoes off and put on his cardigan. Anyway, he's got cute little shoelaces. So there's Mr. Rogers. He's been a work in progress for months. And overall, I can say I am well pleased. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> so that'll be going to a friend of mine for Christmas. And then the next work in progress is also an amigurumi. I am working on another Yoda. So it's been about, um, it's been, I think since September, since my last Yoda. And let's see if I can find his arms. I have not sewn on his arms yet, but they are finished. Oops, I just find one arm. Nope, there's the other one. I just haven't stuffed it yet. Oh, I lack his fingers. That's why. Not quite done with his two arms. Anyway, there's one arm. There's the stuffed one. And he, and then, so all I lack is his ears. And I accidentally made one foot longer than the other. <laughs> but he still has a cute little Yoda butt. And he will, of course, have the robe. So I will try to link below to the other one that I made, which was in a more uh, bright green yarn. But I still like putting on his face and the little eye creases and the eyebrows. And she has you doing some shaping up in here. So I'm really left with the fun stuff, honestly. So I'm excited to show you him. I hope to have him done next week. However, the work in progress I had to put down this week was my mother-in-law's sweater that I'm making for her for Christmas because she was here teaching my daughter. And now that she's gone, I'll be picking that out and trying to finish that before her next shift, which is after Thanksgiving. My goal is to have all of these Christmas presents done by Thanksgiving, including two mermaid tails for my niece. So I have quite a few things. I have to finish. I'm confident they'll all get done before Christmas, but my Thanksgiving deadline may be asking a little bit too much. <laughs> all right, the last thing I have is I splurged and got my very first Furls Streamline hook. So those of you who have been watching my channel for a while know that I am a wholehearted Furls girl. I love, 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 I love my Furls Odyssey hooks. I don't have them in every size yet, but I have, I think, 2.75, three and a half, five, that's actually four, <laughs> um, six, eight, and nine. Three. Nope, this might be eight and a half actually, because I ordered these two. Six, this is a six and a half. This is my streamline. And it's actually showing, you see, in the sunlight, you see those sparkles? This is their new Galaxy hook. And I did not order this for a while. Um, I, have, I have one of their wooden streamline hooks. I'll show you all three of them together. So I have their wooden hook, but, and this is a number five. Um, but I have to say this guy, you see how sharp this is right here. It really likes to snag on my yarn and it's not, it's not near as smooth as the furls odyssey. Obviously you've got a slick metal here. It's not bad, but if I had my choice and I was spending that much on a hook anyway, I would, yeah. So it, price wise, these are 15, these are 22 and these are 33. And the reason I ordered this was because I finally found another, um, a 15% off coupon that is currently still working. It is 
FB for Facebook, FB15. It was a Facebook ad. So if you're looking to try a furls hook, you can use that as the tape as of the taping of this video uh, November <laughs> sixth, maybe. It's Friday. Um <laughs> just don't remember. Uh it still worked. So, um, this is the new Galaxy. They're out of a lot of um, hook sizes in this because I think it's a brand new release. And I wish I had gotten their, their brand new one. I forget what it's called, but it's beautiful too. But oh, I'm just in love. What surprised me about this hook, okay? The other reason I didn't particularly care for this one next to the furls is the way that I crochet, I, if I have multiple um, loops on my hook, I hold it with my finger. And I have relatively small hands and I have pain in my hands, so it's just a little long. Like I don't feel it, my hand ends up inching up like this. And so the fattest part of it doesn't stay in my hand. These ones are the closest in length to each other. However, this one is slicker and faster and does not snag. So in lieu of $33, and then I got 15% off, so I think it ended up being 18 to ship. I mean, not $18 for shipping, but 18 something total. Um, I initially didn't get this because I thought it would grab and be plasticky, which I don't like, but so far on the yarns I've tried it, which is a latte cake, it doesn't, and I'm loving it, and I just can't get over that glitter. I keep wanting to twirl it for you. So I might have, a, have to have a set of these to supplement my furls collection, and this is the new pink with a nickel head. You know, for a long time you could only get the pink with rose gold. Look at the sparkles. Um, so these are both to make my mother-in-law's sweater, which is going to eventually also be using, used a second time because <laughs> I'm making me one after Christmas. Anyway, very pleased with this. And it's a lot lighter than I thought. I thought it was going to be quite heavy and plasticky feeling, um, which I, I, you know, this is heavy, but it's weighted. So it kind of, it feels like you're weaving back and forth. I was afraid this one was going to be heavy and unbalanced all the way around, and it's not. It feels great. So, I'm a fan. And that's really all I have for today. Thank you guys again for supporting me and voting me for Cinnamon Stitches Box. I really appreciate that. I am not a sore loser. I feel honored that my name even got mentioned in the comments. So yay for Ella at No Catchy Name. And I have a new channel to follow now, which is Jessica in the Warren is the other person who got it. And she's a smaller channel, bigger than mine, but smaller, um, just like Cinnamon wanted to do. And she's an art teacher so I, and she dyes her own yarn. So I'm really looking forward to catching up on her page. And if you like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give me a like. It gives me a thumbs up and tells YouTube to suggest my video to other people so I can meet more fabulous people in this crochet world. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you're working on. I would love to hear. And I'll catch you soon. See you next time.